So we're going to do a video and the video is, I'm going to, let me show you. We've got this, it's a pre-terminated ethernet socket with an ethernet plug at the other end. And we're going to remove the power line adapters which have served me really, really well. Uh, they've supplied internet into this outbuilding and but they've been fantastic. But the problem is, is I need to transfer large volumes of data from my NAS drive, which is in the house, into this man cave. And the power line adapters, while they're good, they're just not fast enough. So I've already wired uh, an ethernet cable from the house into this building, and the power line adapter is behind me, and it feeds the office in here. So the power line adapters are right next to one another, but I stopped short of putting the cable into the man cave and that's what I'm going to rectify. So what I'll do is I'll do a quick speed test so you can see what, uh, how fast the internet is currently and how fast data transfer rates from the NAS drive are. Then we'll do the install and then we'll do a retest again to see if it was worthwhile changing from power line to wired. I'm sure it's going to be, but how much of a difference is it? So let's get on with it. So I've just done a speed test and obviously the power line adapters are quite close to one another so we're getting pretty much maximum internet speeds that I pay for. So it's over 200 megabits per second and that's download and 12 megabits per second upload speed. But the important thing is the NAS drive transfer rates so that's what we're going to do next. Okay so now we're going to test the NAS drive. So that's a transfer from the main build in my house via the power line adapters into this office. So we're going to drag and drop it onto the desktop. And we'll see what speed we get. Okay, so we're downloading at around, or oh, it's dropping, it tends to drop and then settle. So we're looking around between 30 to 35 megabits per second, sorry, megabytes per second. That's very important. So around 30 megabytes per second. Now the NAS drive is rated at around 100. So I'm hoping after this upgrade, it's gonna be at least two and a half times faster than it, than it is now. So let's do the install. Okay, so the installation is done. So I'll just zoom in so you can see the socket that we've installed there. Just a bit of tidying up. But there's the socket. So that comes out of the other end, which is just in there. I don't know if you can see that. And that goes all the way up into the roof and then comes down into this spaghetti mess here. And that pretty much at that point joins the old connection that came from the house and that should give us a huge improvement in data transfer so let's test that out okay so the installation is done and now we are transferring a file from the nas drive as we did before and we're currently hitting between 98 and 105 megabytes per second so that's a huge increase in speed about three times and i believe my wife's actually watching netflix indoors as well so the network's being you utilized as it would be normally so currently around 105 megabytes per second so that's fantastic i'm going to do a quick speed test on the internet i don't expect that to be any different because it pretty much hit the uh the max uh, earlier but we'll do that anyway so let's see where we're at okay here we go Actually, the ping seems to be a little bit faster. And no, it's not really that much faster. But then again, I didn't expect it to be because the power line adapters are very good when it comes to um, increasing the range of internet throughout the house or throughout building. So, well, there we go. I've achieved what I wanted to achieve. I can now transfer huge files three times faster than previous. So job done there. Hopefully that... Um, help someone somewhere out there if you're going to do kind of a job like this it's not that difficult just go ahead and do it so if you like this video and you thought it was helpful like subscribe if you didn't like it just dislike it it's not going to hurt my feelings but any interaction with the channel is great thanks